Windows is the largest PC gaming platform globally, with Windows 10 still being the most popular version with gamers. Even the Xbox Series X and its Xbox One predecessor run on a special version of Windows. So it can be disappointing to load up a game on your shiny Windows 10 gaming PC only to find your game stuttering, ruining the entire experience. One of the main difficulties when addressing game stutter is that users describe different issues as stutter, even if entirely different things cause them. Stuttering can be a type of rhythmic hitching while playing your game, it can be random intermittent freezes, or it could be a frame rate that's swinging up and down in a lurching fashion. Whatever your type of stutter, we found several tips to help keep things running smoothly. We found this first fix after weeks of frustration with a Windows installation that would freeze and stutter every few minutes. It turns out that, whether you're playing a game or working in office, a wallpaper slideshow changeover will lock up the whole computer for a second or two. If you have a wallpaper slideshow switched on, disable it or increase the time between wallpapers so freezes don't happen as often. Sometimes it's the latest Windows update that introduces stutter. This isn't common, but it has happened that new Windows updates introduce game performance issues. You can uninstall Windows updates to see if that fixes things, then wait until Microsoft addresses the issue in a follow-up patch. Of course, you shouldn't just assume that the latest update is to blame just because it coincided with your problem. Do a little googling to see if anyone else is having a similar issue before you start deleting updates left and right. Windows 10 has a game mode introduced shortly after the operating system first shipped to customers. This mode manages the computer's resources in such a way that video games get the highest priority. In the latest version of Windows 10, game mode seems to be switched on by default. However, if you're experiencing stutters in your games, you'll want to check if it's on. All you have to do is search for game mode in settings or directly from the start menu. Then, simply toggle the switch to the on position. In a somewhat ironic twist, you might want to try turning game mode off if you're experiencing stutters with it activated. We've seen some users report that their stutter issues went away simply by disabling the option. One potential cause of stuttering in a video game is access contention on the drive that contains Windows. Stuttering isn't a problem with modern solid state drives, but if your main system drive is still a mechanical model, the game and Windows could be fighting for turns to access data. The optimal solution is to replace your main drive with an SSD, but if you can't do that, installing your video games on a different drive to your Windows disk is an excellent way to free up bandwidth. You can also try turning on VSync. While this is not strictly Windows related, it affects all Windows gaming PCs, which is almost all gaming PCs. By turning on VSync in the game menus or your GPU settings, you'll ensure that every frame a game produces is synced to your monitor's refresh rate. This solves a common type of stutter in Windows 10 caused by a mismatch in synchronization between the game and your screen. Alternatively, you could use a frame rate limiter. If your CPU and GPU are trying to render as many video game frames as possible, you increase the chances that minor hiccups may happen that manifest as stutter. You can reduce this issue by setting a limit on how many frames the game should render. Modern games usually have a frame limiter slider within their menus, but you'll also find a per game or system wide frame limit within your graphics card software utility. Incidentally, activating VSync also acts as a frame limiter. For example, if you have VSync on and your monitor is running at 60 Hz, the game will render no more than 60 frames a second. For most players, Rendering more frames than your screen can display doesn't make a lot of sense. However, some competitive gamers do benefit from reduced latency when playing, even if their monitor can't actually show every frame rendered. Also, check your CPU or GPU temperature during gameplay, just in case you're getting stutter because of thermal throttling. See you next time.